Smith? Yes, good afternoon. Hi, it's James here. Hi, good afternoon. Hello, James. Yeah, good to speak to you. Yeah, and you? Yeah, likewise. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Just, um, thank you very much. We're just uh, editing our video at the moment. Yes. Uh, We're the in an uh, editing thing. Yeah, for, for Eat Me, is it? You're doing that for Eat Me? Yeah, that's right. Mm, 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 mm. And how's it going? It's going great, yeah, it looks really cool. Good. Yeah, we're all happy. Good, good, good. There's some good shots, you know. Ah, uh -huh, good. The girls all love us. <laughs> what's not, what's That's not, idea, anyway. yeah, what's, what's not to love, you know. <laughs> um, James, if I may, I, I, obviously you want to get back uh, and, and do the remaining of that editing, so um, I'll keep the interval, uh, interview short and sweet. Um, an interesting one, so for me, that you've, uh, You've you've got this wonderful mix of rock and techno influences, uh, you know, in the you know, in the music. Um, why did you choose to sort of ma you know call sort of a marriage between the two and not uh, go for either um, on on their own? Yeah, it always seems like a natural thing to me, really. Um, you know, because a lot of people have have a sort of quite a bit of difficulty listening to it because. They think you know it should be one thing or the other, and it's neither. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, I, we're all into club music. We love sort of uh, the sounds that you can get nowadays. You know, with all the sort of the techno sounds and, and the big beats you can get from samples. Mm -hmm. We we all, all of the band are into that. But mm -hmm. equally, we're all you know, into our instruments as well. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you know, it's just a natural thing for us to put the two things together. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I've actually thought about it for about seven years now, just mm. toyed around with different combinations. And I always thought that, you know, I've, I've been a sort of techno artist mm. before, and, you know, I've been on stage with just a keyboard and stuff, and I, but I was always interested in adding kind of real musicianship, sort of like live musicians right. around the, the computer-generated music. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just because there's an energy you can create mm. that you can't get with computers alone, mm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so was it actually quite a difficult thing to sort of achieve the sound that you wanted to, you know, without the one uh, sort of taking over from the other? Yeah, that's right. It's always like a push and pull thing, isn't it? It's mm. like in the studio, you know, you've got... Sometimes you, you create a great beat and you just want to leave it like that, mm. you know, and sometimes we do, but quite often you've got this other sort of monkey on your shoulder sort of nagging you, going, go on, try writing a song on it and yeah. see what happens just out of... Uh, sort of enthusiasm mm, mm. just to try and do something new you know mm, mm. that's kind of the other thing that we have to do but yeah it's right sometimes you should just like leave it mm. in the techno track mm. and sometimes we do like are you ready you just left it as it was mm. you didn't really want to make it into a vocal track mm, mm. Um, but mm. a lot of the time you just feel like okay I want to just try just try this out just out of you know just to uh, sort of fulfill my whole own inquiry in mind <laughs> what would happen if I tried <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, was was that sort of, uh, you know, were you thinking that way when you came up with the name uh, for the band? Because uh, from what I understand, uh, Akhanim as as a word is, uh, well, sort of means a mystery or, or the unknown. Was, was that sort of... That's right, yeah. Was was that the thinking? That's right. I mean, because we, did, we actually did quite a lot of the music before we came up with the name. Yeah. And it was Ollie and I who started the band. We we were just working together in the studio, and the vibe between us was always try and push the limits into the unknown. You know? mm -hmm. And so and and how we got the name is Ollie's mum is a sort of magician. Right. Sort of um, she she works with white magic, and uh -huh. uh, so she knows quite a lot about sort of the mysteries of the universe and all that and right. energy. And, so um, we talked to her about names, and she came up with a few ideas for us, and we kind of put put the names together with her. Yeah. And we sort of made made it. We made our own word. Like our kind of how we spell it. It's just that it's our own word. You know. It's yeah. Like we, we put a few different versions of that of one word together. Yes. Yeah. So they're all arcana, but there's different spellings. Mm. No, no spelling is like the one that we use. No, no, because I doubt that. You know, even when you when you when you look for it, is that I just knew it uh, through. Uh, through something that I'd done a couple of years ago, which was called Arcanum, and obviously, uh, you know, I thought, well, that's obviously where it came from. But it actually, the name lends itself, actually, or gives you um, quite a bit of scope within what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. It's a sort of power word. It becomes a power word, and it's interesting at moments, like the arc bit of it, the arc 
mm. case, but like a case that we see mm. kind of relates to like Hebrew sort of magic. Mm. Mm. It's sort of a, an area of, of knowledge which is just sort of coming, which is sort of having a bit of a resurgence of interest at the moment. Yeah, because also, I mean, um, Ali and yourself, um, you, you started relatively sort of young um, in, in music. Um, was that sort yeah. of a was that sort of a help or, or more of a hindrance, you know, in 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 doing your your own album, you know, Fresh Meat now together, or, or was it actually a help that you, you know, you'd had? Okay. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's a help in that um, we we had a lot of experience already when we started this album. But I think like I mean. Yeah, because by the time we got to making fresh meat, we'd, we'd had quite a lot of experience and we had quite a strong vision of what we wanted to do. Sure. And, uh, I mean, we've both had uh, a lot of different experiences in the industry. I've done a lot of live work, mm. um, a lot of sort of played at a lot of rave parties with my other band. Mm. And it was mainly like a live outfit that I was working on. And Ollie was very much like a studio based mm. musician. He was a producer and an engineer. Mm. And so, you know, I mean, you can never. And sort of get away from the experiences that you get just sure. working. But I think, again, um, sometimes when you're, well, being so young, I started working in the music industry when I was like 15 years old. And mm. Sometimes you kind of like, your mind is like ahead of all these other people that you're working with. You're, you're, because so much of the other people are older and they don't quite understand what you're getting at. Sure. And so sure. You, have to, you have to sort of fight for your little, your, to get your niche and mm. make people try and understand what you, what you want to do. Mm. And that's where, Mm, sure. Um, sure. At, at the end of the day, it doesn't 
it doesn't really make much difference to the to who goes out and gets into the record. You know, mm. like people who are going to get into it, they're, they're just going to hear it on the radio, or they're going to see a video of us, and they're going to like it, or they're not. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. As I say, and and working, obviously working with you know with good people doing doing a lot of these things. Um, did did you sort of uh, take you know and 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 learn from from what they were doing and maybe looking at them from the point of view that okay, well, they were perhaps complementing one market. Um, you and I are going to take it another way. But you know, it's almost uh, as I say, just taking from from all of the sort of experiences and influences that you've had. Yeah, I think we're really privileged to have worked with the people we've, we've worked with. You know, all of us together have worked with some pretty cool people and, and they kind of serve as a sort of, they give us guidance in, in one way and we're, we're privileged that we can, we've got some slightly younger energy and maybe got a few new angles on things. Sure. So, and of course, we, we kind of look up to the people that have done well and think and we respect their work. Mm. And then, you know, in your own sort of humble way, we just want to like go well, maybe just like that this, you know. mm, mm, mm. We're very lucky to be able to do that and have the experience we've had. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's a great mm. load of uh, energy in London, creative ideas. Mm. You know, if you're lucky enough to come to be in contact with anyone who's sort of doing something, then you know, all, all the lucky you have. Really. Mm. Yeah. Sure, sure. And and all of the singles that have actually, uh, you know, that you've done to date, um, you've got a great sort of um, a choice of mixes um, and obviously remixes that are, you know, that are included on it. Um, are those remixes yes. as important to you as as the original tracks are? Um, no, they're not as important to me um, personally. Um, I mean, what's really interesting now is that. We've got the mix of some people. A lot of the time we know the people who are who are mixing them up. We've got, um, you know, like the Dead Sisters or the Propeller Heads. Mm. That's sort of our mates and the in England. Mm. And uh, we, we're really into their music and we're really, really young them to do those things. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, They've got their own audiences as well, and mm. it, it's nice to be able to reach a, a wider audience and perhaps you really didn't have to reach the one then. Mm. Mm. You've got to get them to the band around a little bit more. And also you've got the, the same page in the club. And because a lot of the time in the club, um, you need to have a specific time to get paid in certain clubs. You know, yeah. A certain sort of club you play to tell us about this. There's uh, another person who plays, you know, some in both, you know, mm. like the Alex Beaton. Mm. Like, because we're not doing so specific kind of albums, it's our albums that have never draw audience that we're trying to get to. We're not really only making any one particular audience. Mm. We're doing a lot of people together. Mm. So the remix is how in doing that. And, uh, yeah, because we, I mean, that's the beauty of, 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 of the history of the album, is that you, you've almost, uh, it's, it's like ducking and diving from any possible pigeonholing of you know of your sound um because yeah. uh, unfortunately the first love to do that in you know in, in putting you into a, a you know so that they can classify what you're doing in order to interpret it where you've almost made it impossible to do that yeah i mean the way we look at it what we say to people at the moment is that we, we just yeah i mean the way we look at it what we say to people at the moment is that we're just a band, like any other band, mm. and we're writing songs, and that's like the most important. Sure. And, uh, um, you know, so it's easy to, to put us in that kind of position, but with the dancing, there's so many different sort of styles mm. in the um, thing that they call dancing. Mm. You couldn't really put us in, in any one of those, mm. even though you're interested in sort of all of them. Mm. Uh, you know, you just have to think of uh, songs, and we've got our own sound, and that's enough. Yeah, would would you say that um, our kind of sound is, is very much sort of the future sound or, or basically where you see it a lot more at uh, sort of moving towards the kind of you know the, the kind of stuff you are doing? Yeah, I think it is a sort of future sound. I think we may be slightly sort of on the cusp of something changing at the moment. Um, 
but, and we haven't even felt that we've got to where we want to get with our fans. You know what I mean? It's still very young and quite exciting idea of, of an idea. Mm. So, you know, it, 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 it's kind of a thing to change at the moment. I've always thought that this would happen with music. It, you know, the, the interest in computers and, and that side of music would mm. naturally marry uh, with more traditional songwriting and, and that way of expressing yourself. Mm. So it, it's just a matter of time. Mm. And because we're writing songs that, you know, that are, they are, they do start off quite traditionally, you know, with like a guitar. Mm. We'll start with the, the guitar and the, and the lyrics and the vocals and then, and then we'll go in and say, okay, we could try putting this type of sound with it and this type, and we, and we go and, you know, find out what equipment we should use to, to get it mm. right. And so, yeah, it is kind of a feature now, just because I suppose we're privileged at this time that we can actually get access to that kind of technology. Yes, yeah, yeah, because I mean, obviously that's important. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and what? So in that way. Mm, sorry. So in that way, it's definitely a feature sound, you know. But just because of the um, the, the new equipment that we're using, mm, mm. You know, that makes it a feature sound. Mm, mm, mm. Which uh, which aspects of uh, of sort of the whole process uh, do do you enjoy the most? I mean, because obviously there's there's quite a few levels to what you do away from say a tr traditional band. But do do you have a sort of a favourite part that you like to sort of maybe have greater involvement in? Yeah, I think where the band's going now, I'm really happy with what we're doing at the moment because we're we're out of the studio and we spent like two years in the studio getting the band together you know, getting the right musicians together and everything. Mm. Um, and now we're out on the road, and then we've got a kind of m new momentum building up, which is to do with just playing live. And, and, you know, because you get to play the music really loud and like in front of thousands of people, mm. you start to feel what the energy of the music does to people, you know, and that's that you, you start to learn what that energy is like. Mm. Mm. And then that translates back into the band playing together and, and we all start to get a bit more of a rapport mm, mm. together as musicians. Mm. And it's really interesting mm. um, what's happening now. Like at sound checks, we'll get together and we'll just have a jam and do something improvised. Mm. But we've got the uh, equipment around us to make those jams sound pretty interesting. Mm. So that's that's really exciting. The mm. direction that the band's going at the moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we've got this whole new level that we we haven't experienced when we did the first album, mm. Mm -hmm. um, which is what we can do live and. Instantaneously, right, right. Sound really, sound really good. Right. So and we, we were getting to the stage where we're more spontaneous. Which is good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I must ask, when I was um, I was at the record company uh, um, uh, uh, quite a while back, and they they played me a track which doesn't appear on the album. Um, tracks, uh, I think the track's oh, yeah. name, "Game Over." Um, oh yeah. Yeah, and um, I always wanted that to be on the album. Um, how did you actually sort of go about sort of putting the tracks on the album to the point that you did? Um, we just chose all the ones that we re that sort of <laughs> they they kind of made the grade at the end of it for us. They were the ones that we would listen to when we'd got enough tracks together and we thought, okay, you know, these are the ones that sort of passed the test for us. Mm, it's mm. funny you should say that because we're actually working on Game Over still. We're still not quite happy with it. Oh, great. Okay. And that's why it didn't. That's that's why it didn't go on, but it's it's changing and it's, it's got a life of its own. That song, that okay. we've taken, uh -huh. we're doing, um, we're singing it at the moment live. Oh, okay. Some of the vocals from Game Over. All right. We do it live, but on another backing track. Oh, okay. Okay, so we so we so we still might see it uh, released one day. Yeah, you'll see some different sort of the bastard children of Game Over. You'll see alive <laughs> and on the earth sooner or later. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, if I could ask you one more, uh, one more favour, if I can, James. Um, this is going to be going out on um, um, on t on two different stations, um, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, would w would you mind doing uh, doing two IDs for me? Definitely, yeah, not at all. Great. Um, the first one is, uh, as I say, it's for um, a show on our national music uh, station called Five FM. Um, they have a show. FM. Yeah, they have a show called um, Eye on Tomorrow. Um, so right. you can play with that as, as you will. Um, yeah. 
Just do it when you're ready. Right. Okay. Okay. Hi, this is James from Arcana here, and you're listening to 5FM, and I've got my eye on tomorrow. Excellent. Very nice one, James. Thank you.